to Challenge Ronald. I'm your host, James Moreland, and today we are talking about some DIY fish food. So guys, I picked up a cucumber from the store. Cucumbers. They're awesome for fish, and they provide a lot of benefits, which we'll talk about later. But first, we're going to start and talk about how to repair a cucumber. So you're going to get a knife, and you're going to cut it down a little bit. And I just mean like a little bit like that, like a little small piece. And then you want to shave it down until you're left with a little tiny cube. You can be as sparing as you want, but, but I cut off a lot just to make it more like a little cube. And then this is basically it. You're going to wash this a little bit just to get all the juices and stuff off so that doesn't go in your tank. And now you can actually just put it in the tank. So you can actually just drop it in there. And plecos and other like bottom feeders will love this. But I actually have another method for other fish. So technically you could just hold it in the water or you can actually even use a kebab, but I'm just using a regular toothpick. And I was gonna dull it off, but the fish aren't gonna eat this entire thing. So this is basically what it looks like, a little kebab for the fish. And then to save your cucumber, you can actually put a little paper towel over it, but I'm actually gonna cut off another piece from my other tank with my beta and my other fish. All right guys, so I have both of them ready and we're gonna go up to my fish tank. All right guys, so we have both of them and the thing is these are actually pretty hard. So you'd actually wanna boil these a little just to make them a little softer for the fish to eat. But I'm just gonna put it in there a little. So they're pecking at it a little bit, but they don't seem that interested in it. Okay guys, by the way, we changed the sand in this tank and I still need to clean the glass a little bit. Alright, let's try it with the 20 gallon. Alright guys, right now I have a little container to separate my female guppy because she's actually pregnant. And my friend, he has a breeder, so I'm going to have to borrow it from him. But I did order one and it should be coming soon, so I didn't want to buy one even though I already ordered one. Alright, let's just put it in and see what they do. Oh yeah, that guy definitely, he knows what's up. I'm just gonna drop it in like I did with the other one tank. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make DIY fish food. So we're gonna have other videos about food on fish later, but hopefully these guys will like it even more. But hopefully we'll be upgrading this so he won't be stuck in that little container. And also we have our biomedia. You guys were awesome for suggesting to put my old biomedia in this tank to prevent a crash of the tank. That would be horrible. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day. Make sure you drop a like and also add me on Snapchat. See y'all later.